Hello YouTube, this is Jake back again with another video. This video is going to be going to be on how to become popular in school. Now I know a lot of kids out there, uh, they they're not popular. They say that they don't really have any friends, and it's really sad. Uh, you know, during your childhood and whatnot, you should have you should have friends. And I'm here to help you out with that. I'm going to do the best I can from what I've learned from experience on how to become popular. So. I hope this helps, so here we go. Um, back in, oh, sixth grade, uh, see, my dad had died in, when I was in fourth grade. Then I went to a school in fourth grade. Uh, it was too much for me. I just couldn't deal with it. Went to another school in fifth grade. Couldn't deal with it. So then I was homeschooled. Uh, then I went to uh, a school in sixth grade. And uh, I was like, okay, the past few years, I haven't been able to make any friends. I need to make friends this year. And I didn't really make that many in sixth grade. Now I talked to people. I mean, they weren't friends, but they're like the person, like, "Hey, how you doing?" You know, you have, you have like a ten-second conversation. And that's it. Uh, so I made a few friends in sixth grade. Now seventh and eighth grade. That's when it. I, I was like, okay, I need to make more friends. I need to make a name for myself. I need people to know who I am when they say, "Do you know who Jake is?" Not my not my last name, just my first name. And that was my goal for that year. And I did reach that goal. Now the thing I did was I uh, I just had to be confident. I needed to, okay, let's see. Okay, this guy seems cool. He likes what I like. He likes video games. He likes this and that. I'm going to go talk to him. All right, I go talk to this guy about it. Or this kid. More kids then. And uh, they go, oh, cool, here, meet, meet my friend here. And they meet my friend here. You know? So I, make, I mean, I made like seven friends in the first day of school. And uh, that was nice. And I started progressively making more and more and more. Uh, and what, all you need to do does not matter what you look like. Uh, now it does matter what you smell like, because people will be like, oh, "I don't want to hang around you." Uh, so I put a lot of soap on during middle school. And uh, I mean, your what you wear is fine. Uh, I mean, I could wear this. This is not a very good shirt, and nobody would really care. Now, your face does matter. You have acne all over you. I know teens cannot help it. I have very bad acne. Uh, it's hard to take care of my skin. Uh, genetics caught up with me. and Boy, it's not looking very good. It's good today, but the past two weeks have been brutal. But uh, that does have a fa that does play a factor in uh, becoming popular. People will be like, oh, you have zits. I don't want you to buy you. Or, oh, this, all that, you know. Uh, your face is gross. Uh, what most people do is most people pick at it like this. That's not what you want to do. You you just want to pop it, whatnot, because uh, that'll reduce the infection. That'll reduce the scarring. So it looks like nothing really happened. Uh, so that's it. you don't want to pick at it because that will just scab over and it'll be all bloody and it'll actually the bacteria from underneath your fingernail will actually causes it to actually grow even bigger. Uh, that was big in middle school. People. When I talked to their parents about it, and as soon as I got my first one, I was like, "Ah, oh, mom, dad, I need help," you know. So, yes, your face does your face, and then your smell does is a big thing. Uh, sports don't really matter. I mean, as long as you're. I mean, there have been some big overweight people that have been popular, but most of them aren't. So. Uh, you may want to lose some weight over the summer if you are heavy set. Now, if you're like five pounds overweight, you don't really need to. I mean, over the summer, you'll probably burn it off by playing outside. But uh, if you're like 10 or 15, uh, you may want to play outside some more and do some sit ups and push ups. And if you're my age, at the age of 15, just about to turn 16, uh, maybe start lifting some weights. Uh, I was a little overweight. I was about. Eight to ten pounds overweight when I first entered middle school, and uh, I don't know how it happened, but they were like, "Hey, no man, you're physically fit, you're good." And so probably because I'm tall, it didn't seem like it, but I don't know. I guess being six foot two does have its advantages, but whatever, right? Uh, but yeah, you're definitely gonna want to uh, take care of any body fat you have. No, I'm not saying get rid of all your body fat, but I mean I still have some on me. But uh, I'm saying just lose a little bit if you do think you're overweight, but. Uh, and the way I did it was just by eating fruits and vegetables. I mean, all I ate was just processed foods. 
and I could not digest it properly. So I just started eating natural foods, and I lost about 20 pounds. I mean, not literally, but it's what it seemed like, you know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what else is there to cover? You know, just... It, do it doesn't matter what you do. I mean, to start off conversations that, you know, in order to get friends, if they play Call of Duty, be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I like Call of Duty, too. Uh, I do this, I do that in Call of Duty. You know, it's, it's really fun. Uh, you know, if you see some nice people. Uh, the thing, though, that there are some side effects of being popular. I'll go over that. Uh, but you just need to, you know, next year, I mean, school years are just about over. Uh, just... If you need to, lose some weight over the summer. And if you don't need to, don't worry about it, you know? Now, if you're five pounds overweight, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. But, uh, I hope this video does help you change the way you are if you are not popular, if you feel like an outsider. Uh, I hope this video will help you for next year. Okay, now the side effects for uh, being popular. Uh, many people try, they, they want to be with you. Uh, it's not a good thing. It may sound like a good thing at first, that's what I thought, but no. Uh, you end up being late for your classes, everybody's talking to you, and I, I'm a nice person, I don't, I don't like to be rude, I don't like to be like, oh, I didn't get in my class now. I wasn't like that, I mean, I actually let them talk to me, and I ended up being late for class a few times, until I got a few detentions. And, uh, but, uh, that's one of the side effects, everybody wants to be with you, and you don't have enough time for it. Even on Facebook, I was getting friend requests left and right. right. Maybe like 10 or 20 each day. And so I got up to about 400 friends. I mean, I was getting friends, requests from people I don't even know. Maybe I talked to like once or twice, but that was it. Uh, that was, I didn't like that. Uh, the other thing is, is that bullies, they see that you're rising up there and that you're getting the power or whatnot, that's what you want to call it. Uh, they'll start messaging you some more. And uh, you just want to be strong and want to be able to get through it. Uh, just try to make more friends. As they're bullying you, try to make more friends. Maybe like create like a little scene, like, oh my god, why are you gonna be like that, huh? Uh, and maybe even say like a few, you know, mean words to them. Uh, that might get people's attention. They'll be like, oh man, you're awesome, you know? That's what I did, and I got some more friends out of that. Uh, that was, it was nice, but it didn't, with me being so nice, I just felt pretty guilty for saying so many things as a kid, but defend yourself somehow, you know? Uh, that is something that will affect that will happen to you, uh, like 90% of the time it will happen to you, unless you're a big guy. I mean, I'm pretty tall, I'm pretty big, so only about four or five people mess with me, but that was it. So not too many. Uh, but I mean, that's about it. I mean, I really do hope that this video did help you. Uh, kids out there that feel like they're outsiders, feel like they're loners, uh, I really do feel bad for you. I know how you feel. Uh, it's not a good feeling, but I do hope this video helped you. Uh, please comment with anything that I did not cover. Uh, comment that, and I will see if I can answer it. I'm not old and wise, so I don't know much, but, uh, yeah. Uh, like, dislike, subscribe, you know? So thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye.